Here's a third down and six for Stony Brook. Pressure coming, and that ball is intercepted by Verone McKinley. He told us it was one of the best games he's ever called in terms of how it translated for his players. Verdell steps in right back to work. Touchdown, Ducks. Just a little bit more touch on the pass. Brown keeping this. Brown racing to the end zone. He dives. He is in. Touchdown, Oregon. And Oregon gets the ball in the second half, which is something to take note of. Here's Fields, third down after the Oregon timeout. Looking, pressure coming. Sewell hits him, and he throws another interception. The second of the game for Verone McKinley. Now second and goal for Thompson. This time he's going to throw. And he completes it to Terrence Ferguson. Freshman to freshman. The first touchdown catch of Ferguson's Oregon career is the first touchdown throw of Ty Thompson. Johnny Johnson, the man that goes in motion here. And here's Dye. Pops through, hops in, touchdown, Ducks. Oregon takes over, and immediately the offense to work. Dante Thornton, the first touch of his career, goes for a touchdown. That's awesome. Fake the screen pass. He's wide open, but this is where it's special right there. Slip two tackles, turn on the burners, and get in the end zone. You know, they're still a top five team in my mind. Um, is Do they need to make improvements before uh, they really get into the tough Pac-12 teams, the tough competitions? Absolutely. Um, it's still early in the season. There's still plenty of room for that as they pick up a fumble. Maybe Cal will get going. We'll see, you know, Oregon State has played Oregon tough as this is Trey Benson getting in for the first touchdown of his career. Came all this way. Let's get as many snaps as we can. And they came ready to play. Look, this was 17 to seven at the half. But in the end, the number four team in the nation, Gets the win, 48-7, and Oregon improves to 3-0.